Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. Here's our weekly angelic message for the week of March 25th, 2024. We have a full moon lunar eclipse today. You're going to be see, well, as I am recording this, you're going to see it later on probably, but a lot of interesting things are coming up because we have another eclipse that I'm sure you've heard plenty of information about on April 8th. I have received a lot of messaging from Archangel Michael and Archangel Metatron. I was meditating last night more because I, like I was having trouble sleeping. Comment down below if you also around times like this have trouble sleeping. And whenever I have a trouble, a hard time sleeping, I also woke up at like 3.15 in the morning or something like that. So I always take that time to meditate. I would encourage you to do that as well. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to the front page of my YouTube channel like right on the landing page, there's the repeating numbers and angel signs. There's ascension and talking about that. There's also a video on there about waking between 3 and 5 a.m. What to do during those times. So go check that out. But I was awake and um, <laughs> getting messaging. There will be electrical grids are going to go down. It's going to happen. Okay. So I don't know, I didn't get specifics on where Texas, I think you need to be on high alert for sure, but it could be happening everywhere, okay? I'm just going to get the cards out here. Um, internet could go down. I'm already in my region seeing where the internet is slow, very slow. But this is definitely a time to be aware of, oh God, okay, we'll, we'll get to the cards here in a second. Definitely a time to be aware of what entities you are coming or inviting in to help you. If you do not know about spiritual warfare, let me give you the cliff's notes here, okay? It's happening. It's here. <laughs> it's much more complicated than we realize. We get trained and uh, maybe even indoctrinated through surf surface level narratives. So I talk about this all the time, but here they could come very, very simply. For example, if you have toxic people in your life doing very toxic things, you might be afraid to speak up because they will retaliate in some way, whether that's a smear campaign, uh, God forbid, other things. There's angels and this other word. I don't like saying it, but it starts with a D, okay? But I'll just refer to them as like dark souls or whatever, just D, okay? We'll just call it D. Um, that is... Uh, that darkness energy coming in, okay? And it's working through people just like light is trying to work through people. Now, here's the thing. Even people who work with light, right? And I'm not talking about the fake ones who like run deep into the light and avoid humanity and all that stuff. They're going to have to reincarnate. They're not doing what they're supposed to do, okay? It's about balancing, but people who run are trying to work with the light, you are in an increased time of attack. That is not to make you scared, not to make you paranoid. And you might be like, well, nice to say that, Michelle. You just said we're under attack. <laughs> but I've been experiencing it as well. So, you know, things getting blocked in your life. Um, ending up around people where you're not allowed to have a voice. Whether that's coworkers, maybe suddenly a love partner is being really oppressive, or um, your friend group, maybe, or, you know, just whoever you associate with. And it might, you might be at a time of feeling stuck, okay? Okay, even now I'm hearing, this is Archangel Michael. The darkness is getting aggravated because it was losing. It's getting aggravated. Now you're seeing a lot of people, especially young people, who think that it is powerful, interesting, captivating even, I would say, to study dark arts or to take a dark perspective on things. And part of that, just on a surface level, that comes from insecurity. I said what I said, okay? <laughs> I mean, you know, like, I, and I say that because I've seen this in play. There are a lot of people who have been through a lot in their lives, and maybe they do want a sense of power, but they're insecure. And so a way to kind of scare people or rebel, 
you see what I'm saying, right? Like it's not terrible. I mean, I hope they're not doing terrible things, but you see what I'm getting at. So there are some people who are doing that. Hopefully that's just them coming through a part of their soul's contract and they'll come out the other side. But in this uh, spiritual warfare kind of way, a lot of us are getting shaken, you know, maybe worried about jobs. We'll talk about that. This will be more in like next week's video when we talk about April 8th. But this is a time where, you know, you're, maybe you're worried about jobs. Maybe you're worried about your relationships, uh, your health. You know, a lot can be, there's just so much. I live in the United States. I was born and raised here. I've never lived in another country, but I've lived all over this one. <laughs> but, um, you know, our, it's no secret that our food supply is filled with things that cause inflammation. Um, it's no surprise that we are really kept under constant duress whether it's worrying about, and you've heard me talk about this before, but whether it's having a roof over our heads, um, if you don't, if you don't have a partner, then somehow there's something wrong with you. That's wild. I could talk all day on that one. Cause, um, another video, maybe remind me. And if you care to hear that, I, I can definitely talk about that, but you know, wondering if you're going to have a job, if they're going to be mass layoffs, just always keeping us scared always keeping us scared and what happens when we're scared we don't manifest what we want right that's definitely happening there will be an increase in people trying to scare you around your belief systems again I'm gonna do a whole podcast around this I posted something earlier I'm just waiting for this little cough <laughs> to clear up so I can get back to the podcast and once I do I'll film or record I should say several of them and get them up that way <coughs> I said it and it came along. <laughs> uh, um, that way you can catch up on the podcast. But so so get ready for that. We'll we'll go deeper into that. These are big topics. And basically, when I meditated last night, Archangel Michael was saying, you know, we have to take what we have always described as a clearing. Maybe you've seen it as cord cutting, healing, you know, whatever. We have to take that. I just heard armor up. Now, again, that doesn't mean like how we would armor up and go to war necessarily, but Although Michael is known as having that kind of strength and power and courage, right, um, to armor up. So we're going to have to take a different approach to our clearing. And this is going to go into a deep cellular level. What will block this would be people who are working for the darkness, whether they're aware of it or not, um, or they're just harming the light and light carriers with their insensitivity um, with their self-centeredness, self-indulgence, lack of self-awareness, um, they're being used as puppets. And they don't even realize that some of them engage in religious practices. Which is wild. That's how strong human free will is. Do you think there aren't the D word entities being around a church now some of you are going to get real fired up by that why because you've been trained to think that you know a church is sacred and holy and it, it is sure but they come around they're working overtime okay they're working overtime now let me explain this a little bit more let's go a little bit deeper that's how strong free will is that if we're using the example of christianity and a church okay God is not going to turn away anyone who's willing to walk through the door. But God is not going to do your work for you. So if you walk through the door and you've done something awful, or you're just kind of in general not a very nice person, we know you don't burn up when you <laughs> walk through the door of a church. Look at how many things have gone on. Not, not just in Christianity, okay? How many things, and this is going to get so exposed. Wait till after April 8th, guys. You think we've seen a lot of people getting exposed now? It's all going to be coming out. It's all going to be coming out. And this is another message to make sure you're taking care of your mental and emotional space through your spiritual practice and making sure that if you um, have some sort of mood disorder coming up or a psychological thing coming up, make sure you get help that is actually helpful for you in the way of a therapist that's very healthy. Um, if you get with a therapist who got through the system and they're not very healthy, you have every right to ask for a different therapist, okay? So keep that in mind. Spirituality is not a replacement for therapy. But um, 
if somebody is not going to make a free will choice to get better, they're still stuck in their lesson. They're still going to have to just sit there. Does that make sense? So why are we talking about this this week? Because this is going to be a time where some of you are making some very deep, difficult <coughs> decisions because you're aware that this is happening and you're aware that it's just going to build and build and build. Now, coming up to these other this other eclipse, um, it doesn't. It's not all bad. It's not all bad at all. As a matter of fact, Michael and Metatron coming forward and saying, going deeper with your clearing, letting Metatron sort of reset us in a way uh, and empower us. Working with those two archangels, you know, that's very beneficial. But for some, it could be because things have been cleared away. Maybe, you know, maybe there is a company you used to work for and it was all toxic people there. And those people got fired, right? And now you're like, okay, well, I actually liked my work. And the people who remain, those are the people that, you know, we worked well together. You might go back. It's also Mercury retrograde when the April 8th uh, eclipse is going to be, the solar eclipse is going to be happening. So you might go back to a place of, of work or be careful with partners coming back around that time. That's not an invitation to get back with somebody. No. That's the darkness testing you. Be careful. There's a lot more of that. It's kind of more concentrated. Anyway, let, let's talk about it. Okay, so we have the number 19 here, Dragon's Lair. Every time this card comes up, it's giving a few things. Feeling stuck, feeling frozen in place, and yet there are these dragons around, and it, the word lair doesn't have a very nice connotation. <coughs> it's it's given the, the idea of something hidden, nefarious you know like something's dangerous right so there's that one then we have the number 35 education so this is taking a moment to sit and go okay I need a refresh on my spiritual practices what am I really engaging in and how much is worth continuing on with right and how much of it do I need to release so you're educating yourself this week mostly being the student of you I've said that before in videos but it's being the student of you and Learning, she's wearing a black dress, which to me feels like <coughs> the ending to something. And and facing, yes, facing your flaws, facing how you treat people, um, facing how you treat yourself. What do you believe about this world? What do you believe about yourself? Are you someone who buries your head in the sand and you don't... Um, you don't want to do the hard stuff. Do you see what I'm saying? Again, that's all in balance. It has to be done in balance. Okay. <coughs> Speaking of, oh my goodness. <coughs> Sorry. See, it's when I get talking, it starts coming up anyway. So we have the number 22. 22 is all about balancing. And if you don't know, Archangel Sandalfin helps us with the balancing and frequency alignment and attunement. So he's known as the Archangel of Music, but he's really the Archangel of Sound Healing. Think frequency and raising your frequency and balancing and harmonizing with the help of Sandalfin. Sandalfin is the brother of Metatron. So it's interesting that Metatron and Michael are coming up. And we know when we're in for it or something very challenging is about to pop up because these two kind of come up as guards and they're like, yeah, they're trying it, but they're not going to win, right? They're not going to win. We're here. So... You're going to have to make an effort here and make sure you're talking to the right entities. Now, let me, as I say that, let me say, I am still, as of the recording of this, running about a one-day wait time on standard readings. That will not always be the case. I'm taking on another project here in a few weeks. That will be taking up most of my day. I'll still be doing readings um, here and there. But if it gets to be, like, if a lot of people come in, I might shut down um, the readings for a minute until I catch up and then, you know, it might go more that kind of pattern, but for right now and for the next few weeks, right now it shouldn't be, shouldn't be the full wait time. As of the recording of this, a one day wait time, maybe going into two days. If a lot of people crowd in, watch the community tab on my, uh, Angel Souls YouTube channel. I will always keep you updated. Okay. So please don't wait on that. If you want a reading, now would be the time to do that. And I also want to say, as far as readings go, angelic readings with a light person, okay, <laughs> someone who carries light, is one of the safest readings that you can get. I know. There's a lot of, like, 
the things like tarot have been so normalized. I know I have a lot of tarot readers who watch these videos. Know that I love you. Stay in your integrity. Keep it good, right? Keep it upper fourth dimensional level energy. I know you will, <laughs> right? But if you're kind of like, well, I don't know about um, opening up to that energy, you're safe. I make sure that you as my client that you are safe as we do these readings. I always do uh, a protection request on your behalf. Uh, I always request that blessings and abundance and the highest good of everyone involved come to you, that you have your heart's desires if it's in your highest good. You know, I always ask that for my clients. So keep that in mind. Safer than maybe going to someone who picked up a tarot deck yesterday and they think that they're going to sling cards for funsies and to get, get a little bit of money off of social media. <coughs> Joke's on them. You don't make much doing this. Most people don't, okay? So, like, but just keep that in mind. As far as live readings go, this week I'm pretty open still. So if you want a live reading or a live course, I can still do the Connecting with Your Angels course. Um, if you have the Learning Angel Mediumship and you bought it in the pack, schedule those, get those done, okay? Because those are going to expire. If you want to sign up for Learning Angel Mediumship, again, as far as mediumship goes, this is pretty safe, because we work with high frequency angelic beings that are God's messengers. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Uh, you got to get in now. You got to get in now. Cause I don't know, like my life's going to be changing. I'm sure I feel it. <laughs> I feel the eclipse energy already. And I've been feeling it. I think it's very joyful. I think it's going to be really wonderful, but it's going to take some shifting. Okay. So again, I don't want to scare you away from like getting readings at all. They'll still be there. If they're not available, let me say this again, if they're not available, I will post that and let you know, hey, I'm going to shut this down for a week, play catch up, and then I will bring it out again. Okay, so if you want the live reading or one of the courses, we can also do a course. You can just request this if you want to have a session where we work. You work with an angel medium to connect with, say, Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, to go through that session right then and there. And then you take your notes with you and you can continue that. So... Email me at angelsouls444.com for a live session, to schedule a live session. Standard readings are angelsouls444.com. No matter what kind of reading you're getting, I'm now putting this out there. Pen to paper. Gabriel came in and said, get, get hard, like not hard copies, but you know, pen to paper. Make sure you're taking notes because things might get wiped out. That's going to be happening. I don't know that's going to happen in the next week or even two weeks or a month or a year. I don't know but something's going to be shaken. So there's all that information. Sorry, it was so long. There you go. <laughs> all right. So we have the number 22 here, which is about balancing and it's intention. So when we get scared and when we get thrown off or when these narratives come after us, like you're not a good person unless you do X, Y, and Z. You're no good unless blah, 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 all these things. It gets us away from, first of all, our connection to the divine and divine peace coming through us. It blocks inspiration. It blocks motivation. Then you get frozen, right? Now you're not accomplishing anything. Now maybe you feel bad because you're not accomplishing anything. <coughs> but you have to kind of ask, where are the energetic drains? That is the biggest theme of this week. There's so much to talk about here, guys. I'm trying not to, it's already kind of a long video, but it's a doozy, okay? So here we go. 32 were just to five in numerology and... <coughs> Angel numbers, the number five is the number of change. Magic prayer. There is so much at work to keep you scrambled, to keep you confused. Yes, they're coming through and saying there's going to be a lot going on that gets you confused. How do I put this? Um, be ready for constant 180s. Constant 180s. You think... This, this person or this group of people or this situation is the right situation. It's the good situation and this is all bad over here. And then you go, wait, what? You're, you're the good guy and now you're the bad guy? Huh? Wait, wild. Okay, huh? And then it might switch again. So that's part of that confusion. And it gets your frequency kind of short-circuiting in distortion. And now you're tired. Now you're grumpy. Now you're not enjoying your life. Now you're overthinking things. Now you're over planning things. Maybe you're being too controlling of others. Maybe you're being too scared of others. You see what I'm saying? Like it's all about balancing. But this magic prayer is opening yourself up 
to Archangel Michael, well, I'm adding this, but Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, Sandalfin, even Gabriel, Raphael, whoever you want to bring in. I always like, even if you think it's like going overboard, what does it, what does it hurt to say Archangel Michael of God's purest love and light? Or divine love and light, if you've got some twitch about the word God, okay? Like, fine. <laughs> like, use whatever you need to use. But make sure you're putting those good words around it because the words hold a very powerful frequency. Okay? That's how we do this purely. And when something doesn't feel right, pull back from it. Okay? Now, we have 46... <coughs> This is going to be the most entertaining video ever. I'm so sorry. It's like long and chatty and I'm coughing through the whole thing. Ugh, I'm sorry. Anyway, we have this theme of two here. Okay, so there's two masks and they're splitting apart there. You can take a look at that for a second. And it says coming apart. Now, this is where we're having the, the tough part of this. To put it simply, it's like, my love partner isn't who I thought they were. Or I'm suddenly seeing the toxicity in how I live my life. Or, you know, bad habits I have. I'm finally getting real about it. And really what's happening is the, the awareness around it makes it so you can shed that. And actually, I had a moment last night during my meditation where I actually was shown, I don't know if this is anything <laughs> gross sounding, but... Like, it was like I got split, like something split, like, and I kind of, like, shed my skin. I know, that's like likening it to a snake, but, which isn't nice for me. But, like, <laughs> but no, it felt like I was stepping out of the old. Like, this thing was this sort of encasing around me that was forced upon me by negative entities and by people who wish me ill, of people getting in the way of me doing what I need to do, right? So that went away and it went it kind of dissipated I'm assuming it was like transmuted or something and there is this like authentic real version of me and I could see like in this meditation it's all meditation right in this vision that my skin was glowing and it almost felt not bad it wasn't bad but it wasn't exciting either it was almost like I was having to catch up with this light. I was almost out of balance still, like sort of acclimating to the fact that I don't have to worry about those things anymore or I don't have to engage in that way of thinking. I don't need to beat myself up over certain things, right? So the coming apart might be that process for a lot of you this week and it's, it's going to make you feel a little wobbly, right? But it's okay. It's part of the process. It's leading you up to have new beginnings, but in the meantime, there might be a lot of things that are falling away. It might be a little uncomfortable this week, but just remember, if it starts to feel uncomfortable, be like, hey, something really good is about to replace this, and we need to work together. We need to band together, okay? So we're going to leave it there before I start coughing again. I am sending you all so much love, and take care.